Next news is from Washington, D.C., United States. Uh, the title says, Dead Sea Scrolls Fragments at Museum of the Bible are all fakes, study says. Oh, well, Dead Sea Scrolls Fragments are fake. Okay, so not, not the whole thing, just some fragments of it. Okay, so I thought this headline was a little bit more earth-shattering than originally because it's just some fragments that they have in Washington, D.C. Let me read the summary. When Steve... Uh, Green paid mil when Steve Green paid millions of dollars from his family fortune for 16 fragments of the ancient Dead Sea Scrolls. Wow, what a waste of money! It seemed the perfect addition to their new museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. But now experts have confirmed what has long been suspected. The, the artifacts proudly displayed in the nation's capital by the owners of the Hobby Lobby chain of stores are not part of one of the most significant archaeological finds of all time. And they are worthless forgeries, probably made from old shoe leather. Well, confirmation of the hoax came in a report published online by a team of five art fraud investigators after a two-day conference at the museum focusing on the comprehensive testing of the supposed scroll fragments was canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic wait so this guy didn't do the study before he paid millions of dollars like why like why is the study doing now like wouldn't you want to know what you like i don't know did, was there a previous study done but wasn't a good study or he just paid how it says millions of dollars how many do you know how many millions of dollars i think it makes a huge difference doesn't it i i'm not sure but he said millions probably a few it's, well, i don't yeah. think it will be like one or two it will be some that, i mean i wish i knew how like somebody if they know if you know how many millions please let us know in the comments but yeah so but why wouldn't you do this all this research before you pay maybe this guy how much how much is the net worth of steve green maybe millions of dollars is nothing to him i don't know um yeah but what else is new i guess like when it says as suspected it seemed like this was something so dumb like it seemed like a lot of people before the actual like a lot of experts before the actual study was done they were like yeah like obvious like dude i bet you a lot of experts look with the first look at the fragments they were like yeah no way <laughs> right but then they had to do an actual study to make it make sure um but that's what i imagine when i see as expected uh, okay so i i cannot find any specific number i mean all of the articles i checked just said millions of dollars um i didn't find any specific number for that yeah Boogie Monster Mom is saying maybe he couldn't study it because he didn't own them. Maybe because they refuse. Well, I mean, you sh I mean, if you want, <laughs> that's a red flag right there. Okay, I'm going to pay millions of dollars for this, but I want my team to come research it uh, before I pay millions of dollars from it. And they're like, no, you cannot study it. You just have to buy it. There's no, you can't touch it until you buy it. And the guy was like, yeah, that's the other risk. Like, okay, fine, I'll take it. <laughs> like, uh, no, that's, I don't know. Uh, another godless atheist is saying there was a criminal investigation a few years ago into them for stolen antiquities. Oh, no. Oh. So there seems to be, this story seems to be going for a while. We're just catching up. Uh, Shiru is the top comment saying whether they're fake or not is irrelevant. What are you talking about? How is that irrelevant? Let me see what... Okay. If they weren't fake, it, it still would be remnants of a bad, bad fiction, f fictitious story written by morons that knew nothing of the natural world and its basic m mechanics who can't even begin to agree enough on one thing, on things to give this crap any, cons any cons consistency. I completely disagree with that. If anything that old with writings on it is extremely valuable, okay? What are you talking about? First of all, this idea that this... Okay, so it is a fictitious story. Whether it's a bad story or a good story, that's, that's irrelevant. First of all, 
the stories, whether they're good or not, is subjective. They, they, the stories that people wrote thousands of years ago, or even hundreds of years ago, they tell us a lot about history and about the nature of the human mind. What are you talking about? This stuff, this is what history is built of, is finding these fragments and investigating them and figuring out how that fits into the puzzle that is history that is so difficult to solve. This, this, these stuff are very important. Just because religion is nonsense, that doesn't mean the history of religion is not important. It's extremely important, okay? Extremely important. Any other myth, if any other ancient, even if, okay, or Greeks or Persian gods, or all of this tells us a lot about history, about humans, about society. But even if it was just something like, I don't know, something small like, hey, buy this many nails. Um, from so-and-so market, if you found a note like that. That's not an interesting story. You know how value, but if you find a fragment like that, that was about nails or, you know, an exchange between copper and leather between two different tradesmen, you know how valuable that is, even if it was that basic? You know how much that, that's just an, like a window to a world that's like, it's like traveling in a time machine. It's amazing. How could you not see the value in these fragments? Okay? Don't let our justified hate for religious claims being so accepted. That's justified. Don't make you underestimate the value of history, okay? And the value of what this myth can teach us. Okay? There's, there's two ways of looking at it, right? If I say, oh, this god made the universe out of cow dung, all right? And that's my Genesis story, okay? If people all of a sudden believe that, and you're like, oh my god, it's so dangerous that people believe that, that's one story, okay? And you should be like, oh my god, this is horrible, this is dangerous, people shouldn't believe in random nonsense, okay? But don't let, but the fact that that's another angle is like, oh wow, why did people come up with this story? Why would, why would this story become cow dung instead of donkey dung? And like, you know, is it like, why is, you know, and figuring, solving that riddle tells you a lot about many things, okay? You could at the same time be extremely angry about the influence that be, this belief system has on your lives and how stupid it is that so many people believe in it as reality and how this doesn't tell you anything about the nature of reality and how the world is and how the world came to being. That's all legitimate. But even though it doesn't, if it doesn't tell you about the nature of reality, it does teach you a lot about the nature of human mind, and there's a lot of value in studying it that way, okay? So these two views, uh, this love-hate relationship with the history of religion is not contradictory, okay? It's not contradictory. I have a love-hate relationship with uh, Islam and Christianity and Hinduism and all of them, right? There's, they teach you a lot, and they also cause you a lot of problems. But that's why it's so uh, much fun. That's why ancient mythology is so much fun for a lot of people because they don't harm us anymore. Nobody believes in them, so you could just f um, enjoy the fun aspects of them. But go on. Sure. Yeah. So first, uh, Beej in the live chat mentioned that Steve Prince estimated net worth is around. Uh, million is such a wide margin. Like, like if he if he wants to know about Mesoamerican history. I mean, it was mostly Mayan and Aztec, Aztec stuff. So you'd probably say, yeah, that's history. And it can, I mean, it contributes to knowing about history and stuff. But those religions, they were famous for beheading people for sacrifices. Right. Does he agree to that? Well, my, Mayan I mean, was those religions are dead, but yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, we study dead religions just because they are dead, but I mean, even if the stories themselves are false, they do let us know a lot about history, for example, the lifestyle. Finishing it at the right time. Everything, okay, so thank you everyone, thank you everyone in uh, Susanna, Smithy, uh, Weirdo, I don't know, Beach, thank you for being here, Christy and Beach, thank you for being at Men's, love you guys, uh, the two Chris's. Another Godless Atheist, Angel, on Facebook, Brent, uh, Marus, um, Yuval, oh, Yuval is here, yay, Marius, uh, Muhammad, Shakila, and everybody else that I didn't read your name, I promise I didn't, oh, Smithy, if I didn't read your name, 
It wasn't on purpose. I promise. I promise. I love you guys for being here. Old Scratch. Um, please forgive me. Angel Rose is here. Uh, if, okay. See you guys again next week. Okay? Love you guys. Bye. I mean, I might see you sooner because I'm doing more live streams. But no problem. Love, love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.